Okay, so now I'm going to select these two tracks and add a, add a slight fade in. Okay, ignore my uh, horrible fail singing, but anyway. Um, once you're sure that everything lines up, and you think you're ready to export, but wait, you've still got clipping. And you've got clipping here. So, and also, you're probably going to notice that everything is uneven in the sound files. This is common. It happens with all songs, so you will always have to do this. Now, you go, you hit this little FX button, like I just did, sorry I didn't explain that, and you have a filter list, and these are all your filters and effects that you can add. I actually have more because of my, because I imported my Fruity Loops effects in here. But anyway, what you want to do is you want to search for Recomp. Do not listen to Anime Blight at this point because uh, I think it's Blockfish is not the best compressor out there. Recomp does the job just fine. Now, for Recomp, I'm just going to play the file here and I want you to pay attention to these bars because you won't be able to hear it, but I will. You want to try and move this little slider right here to where to where about the middle is. So let's see here. That right there is about the middle. Yeah. About right there satisfies me. Okay. So now you come over here to attack set your attack to zero. And then you go down here to your ratio. You want your ratio to be, for my songs I choose 3.0, a 3 to 1 ratio. You can play around with this. I think on some softer songs it sounds better at like 2.6. There's other tutorials on uh, the compressor. However, I'm not going into that. Now, you may or may not have noticed an echo sound in the uh, other video if you have watched it. And if you haven't watched it, then you more than likely will pay attention to it. Now, I'm going to go ahead and explain that. That is actually reverb. Just go down here to add. And then you add reverb generator. And as you can see, you don't have very much reverb right now. Now, let's increase the room size to about 75. I think that's what I put it at last time. And you turn the volume of the reverb up. I'm going to add about 10 decibels. Now. Doesn't it just make Tesso sound so sweet? Anyway, um, so, now you would think that you would just copy pasta your effects over into the other two, two tracks, right? Wrong. Very, very wrong. While you do copy pasta, you still have to edit. Because, in case you didn't notice, let me close this out. These two tracks are significantly quieter than this track. Okay, so I'm just going to paste these effects on over here. You can do whatever method you choose. I chose to copy pasta. That's copy and paste for those of you who are <laughs> noobs. Anyway, um, so you've got your recomp here. You select your recomp and
just follow the same method. Just uh, play it, find about the midpoint, and it will sound, it should sound about the same volume level. And you'll notice that that's what it's doing. It's reducing the higher volumes to the threshold volume. It's it's not very complicated. It's just I, I don't really know how to properly explain it. Okay, so we're just going to, well, actually, since these two are about the same decibel level, I actually can copy pasta these and just paste them over into uh, Relics 3 Tattoo Track. And this will give me the reverb and the compression on the vocals that I need. Okay, so let's see here. Um, <clears throat> that's pr oh, that's pretty much all you do as far as the mixing part over here is concerned, and down here. Now, you still got you still got clipping over here, and still got clipping in the karaoke. So, what you want to do is you want to erase your reverb or recomp or whatever you typed here and type in limiter and you choose the loser master limiter it comes standard with um, Reaper so that's pretty much all I'm using right now you guys is stuff that comes standard with Reaper now you'll notice over here it's got a number 4.6 and 4.9 taking the higher of these numbers and setting it accordingly in my limiter Now the music is still drowning Teto out. I know you guys can't hear it, but I can. not So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring down the volume of the karaoke. One, so that it does not clip, and two, so that it sounds decent. Now I'm going to bring it down uh, 1.42 decibels, because right here it's clipping at 1.3. And because the closest I can get and still be quiet but not be clipping is 1.46 that's what I'm going to do anyway so let's hear it now it's almost right almost now I'm going to bring up Teto. Oh, if you need to select more than one track to edit volume or whatever, you can't edit three of the same effects. You've got to actually go in and edit this one's effects and this one's effects and this one's effects and so on and so forth. But anyway, um, I'm going to bring Teto up just a little bit, not a whole lot, because if I bring her up too much, she's going to clip. So I'm going to bring her up by about uh, about 0 0.8, 0 0.8 decibels. Okay, and there you have it. You have now officially mixed your first track in Reaper. Yay! Don't you feel special? Okay, so anyway, um, now that you've got your track mixed, I'm sure you're probably wondering, well, how do I get it exported to MP3? Well, you go up here to File, and then you go to Render. And in, in this, you'll have a bunch of settings, just leave them alone. The only thing you want to set is Output Format, and you set it to MP3. And then you and then I would render it, but I've already got it rendered, so there's no point. Well, uh, that pretty much does it. 
I hope you guys enjoyed my little tutorial thing here. And uh, look forward to seeing my Utahu for Extreme Beginners tutorial in the not-too-distant future. Bye for now. This is Seimei Kyokune, a.k.a. Eji, and I will see you at the next tutorial.